Hi! In this video I would like to show you how I knit this ribbing with seed stitches in between to give this effect that almost looks like um, fish bones or maybe maybe wheat or barley in the field depending on what associations you have to this type of structure and the pattern consists of four stitches that is repeated so the number of stitches you cast on need to be um, divided by or you need to be able to divide the stitch number by four and that is so that in the transition between the beginning and the end of the round that you can complete one whole repetition of the pattern to make it look even all the way around and then it is two rounds that is repeated and after the cast on I begin the first round like this I knit three stitches and then I I purl one and then I knit three stitches and purl one so the whole pattern for round number one is knit three purl one and some of you may notice that I am not consistent in where I uh, insert my needle when I pick up the stitches. When I pick up the purl stitches I go in here from the right and through the back and I knit and when I have a knit stitch here I go from the left front and this has to do with my purling technique um, and uh, so don't don't focus on how I purl if you do it in another uh, technique. The important thing is that when you pick up the stitch it should open up like this and not twist like this. You can see the the yarn twists around itself at the bottom of the stitch here. It should open like this when you pick it up. So that is what you should check if you are insecure about this. And the same with the knit stitch, it should open up like this and not twist like this. So that is what you should be looking for. And now I will complete this round and I will get back to you on how I do the second round of the pattern. And now I have finished my first round and I am going to show you the second round of the pattern. And I use this column here of knit stitches as a little guide when I do round number two because this stitch is always knitted never purled and now I begin by making a, a purl stitch and then I knit this one so that I continue to knit this column here and from now I will do repetitions of knit uh, of purl 3 knit 1 so I begin and I purl 1 2 3 
here I am at my column of knit stitches I knit and I repeat I purl one two three and I knit and I purl one and two and on my next needle here I will begin as I did here because I have two purl stitches so I need to purl the first one here to get three stitches and I knit and I continue the purl three knit one pattern and when I arrive at the beginning of the round again I can make a start over and I make the knit three purl one knit three purl one so that's the whole pattern repetition of four stitches and two rounds and the result is stretchy and nice and it both looks and feels structured and um, if you are wondering about my stretchy cast on here just follow the link on the right. Thank you for watching.